Hello lovely people, I'm Michal Kali Griggs for those who don't know me yet. Today I will talk uh, about um, 10 best uh, qualities uh, for a Tantra teacher. Yeah, 10 best uh, is uh, one of the um, projects uh, in uh, our uh, teachings. Uh, what we share online and uh, also at our websites. Uh, there is 10 best uh, tantric advice, 10 best tantric movies, 10 best uh, tantric books, uh, 10 best uh, tantric quotes uh, according tantra movement. So uh, uh, now I will share the 10 best tantric uh, qualities for tantric teacher. First uh, quality it's uh, that uh, the Tantra teacher is your best friend. Uh, this is uh, what I learned from my uh, Kundalini Yoga teacher, uh, Hari Kur. Uh, she was my one-to-one -one teacher. And uh, at the first uh, lesson, uh, first meeting when we had that, she said, now I'm your friend. Whenever you are in trouble, even in the night, you, you may knock to my door and if you need help, I'm there for you. And it was like this. Uh, sometimes when I was coming to, for the lessons, uh, she asked me, how are you? And I said, mm, I had some issues in my life and I answered her. She put aside the teachings. She gave me one, two hours of coaching where she really was there for me as my best friend, giving me advices, giving me confirmations. And this really, wow, showed me like, yes, this is the way how I would like to be also, this kind of teacher. I, like, for me, I feel that my students are my, children are my friends you know i really take care i really this is the very beautiful quality of tantric teacher so especially in tantra when we go into the connection you know like it's not just like uh, you know uh, workshop time and goodbye you know we are connected much deeper and you know like uh, let's keep that connection let's uh, support each other, be for each other, be for your students, you know, they, uh, you go away, but they may need you, they go through the processes, let them know that you are always for them. So this is very beautiful quality. Another quality is uh, that there is uh, unconditional love flowing between. I wrote uh, also about the first point, uh, uh, the first quality what I was talking before, but also about this one, the chapter in my book. Uh, I recognize in um, some point that the best teachers what I had in my life uh, um, were my daughter and um, Tara Long, uh, the directress and the teacher uh, in Rasayana Tantra Academy. And why? Because there was unconditional love flowing between. Um, Tara was, she is like a mother figure for me. Uh, she is always the person who I look up. Uh, and um, yes, um, she, um, beside of uh, my uh, issues and uh, whatever uh, sometimes I did wrong and so, she never uh, put me down. She always had this attitude, okay, uh, I still love you, maybe you do something wrong, but it's okay. And I really felt like mothering uh, from her. And I'm very uh, uh, appreciating this. And that's why I also uh, learn a lot from her. Even sometimes we had different op of opinions, uh, we could always uh, go through it, uh, respect each other's opinions, 
and reflect on it and maybe learn from each other. So that's uh, one of my best teachers uh, and uh, the other uh, one, it's my daughter. And also like this element of unconditional love made me learning so much. I changed so much because of my daughter. You know, it's, it's, you, when you love someone unconditionally more and more and more, then uh, you are more strong to sometimes uh, uh, bite your unhealthy ego and uh, do something what, from unconditional love. Uh, and because I loved so much my daughter, uh, there were situations when my ego was like, hey, you know, keep your way, keep your authority or whatever, you know, like, but because um, this unconditional love uh, was strong, then in, yes, I could go through this, uh, these uh, conditionings and uh, I could liberate myself and uh, thankful that, for example, I transform in some age of my daughter um, the role of being a father uh, uh, into the role of being a friend. And I'm very happy, thankful that, uh, because we are good friends now. And yeah, I'm still a father, of course, but uh, it's good that, uh, yes, uh, I also could learn from it a lot. So also I could, uh, um, could use it also at my teachings to have this unconditional love, like because I had it from both sides, from the like kind of mother figure, but also from the uh, daughter figures. I had two good examples, uh, like uh, what, what I can share also to my students, who also may become a teachers uh, later on. That was the second. Now is the third. So, um, your Tantra teacher should be there for you to empower you, to liberate you from conditionings, uh, to find the Guru within yourself, yes? To uh, not take away your power, what happens when uh, there is Guru structure, you know, and uh, you have to bow to someone, no, in Tantra Movement School, we like that you find the Guru within yourself, that you em will empower yourself, that you uh, will become stronger and you may find your own way, how we s are saying, you know, uh, we teach, I, what I teach is my Tantra, but what you, uh, I like you to learn is your Tantra. So. I like that you will become best version of yourself, not the sum of the copy of me or some other teacher. So this is uh, very important to empower the person, to uh, f let them find their own way. Maybe sometimes could be even a bit different, but yes, uh, to make them stronger in their own opinions. So yes, the third uh, quality, the Tantra teacher is uh, always a student. For me, <laughs> every workshop what I give is a lesson for me. It's uh, the energy, I always can learn something new and uh, I'm really pleased to learn, to uh, hear the feedback and to see, okay, what uh, next time we can do differently or better or whatever. To not to get stuck, but always learn. So uh, my students are also my great teachers. I'm very thankful for my students. Uh, every situation uh, what we have at the workshops, it's uh, the opportunity for us to learn, to uh, uh, sometimes uh, um, check it out, some new ideas, maybe is to um, do some approach what is completely uh, out of blue, what just coming maybe from universe uh, just at the moment and you just, okay, learn from it, okay, l let it try it and see and 
yes, usually it's like the best thing what you could do. So be flexible and uh, yes, uh, take every opportunity to learn. So yes, um, to uh, like the next quality is also the same kind of. You are always student, but yes, you now especially now with this. Uh, so much information, uh, people getting awakened, uh, people having uh, new experiences, people having new uh, ways of uh, practicing Tantra and so on. They uh, 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 develop some new ways uh, of uh, using sexuality, using uh, the emotions, uh, using the process, uh, going through the process. Uh, so so um, it's a lot of new things there. Keep yourself updated, you know, you want to give the best to your students and it's also very beautiful to keep trying new things. If I will uh, keep teaching the same workshop uh, in the same way uh, every uh, time, again and again, uh, this would be a boring job. So it's also good for you to uh, just find new ways, uh, be excited about new things what are happening in that field. So. Keep yourself updated, also for your students, they will ask you for new things, uh, so, so yes, always grow with this. So another one, he's uh, authentic. Um, it means uh, if I don't know something, I'm very honest with this, I don't know. I don't have to know everything, I'm just a human being, I'm not some uh, a superhero or a walking encyclopedia who knows everything. If I don't know something, I just say, I don't pretend that I know, I don't have to know everything. I say, okay, I don't know, but if I feel the question is uh, important, then I can always say, I don't know, but I will uh, do my research to find for you the answer and then you know I ask my teachers hey you know like I got this question could you please I look out the internet I look in the books and uh, I give uh, to the students this what they need like uh, this is also important to um, be uh, authentic also, uh, be authentic uh, in other way. We are human beings, of course. We, as a teacher, um, as I said at the um, requirement in the previous video, uh, we uh, should have some integrity within us, the basic integrity. Yes, so I said, you know, like the man should be free from addiction, especially the man. Uh, the woman should be uh, unblocked with her, she should be uh, unblocked with her sexual chakras and f yeah, kind of um, comfortable with her sexuality, with her body, with how she look like. That's mainly for the woman. But, uh, besides, these are the main things, but of course, um, when we heal this, when we liberate those, there are some small things, you know, maybe sometimes we get irritated too easily, or maybe, you know, like some, sometimes uh, uh, something uh, make us crying uh, uh, so easily, um, something is triggering us. Uh, Tantra is never ending uh, process of healing, so there are always things to heal. So if uh, these uh, smaller uh, healings, uh, what happened after the biggest healing, usually the, on the beginning of your process, you get the most stronger healing, you get out, get rid of the most heavy stuff, and then later on you just uh, polish the diamond more and more. So, so uh, you just heal a l smaller things. So if it happened, like, it may happen, you know, like uh, during, maybe you uh, give the workshops and something trigger you and you may start crying or you may get uh, irritated, maybe even angry. For me, don't put the masks. Tantra is about the removing masks. Be authentic in your process. Allow yourself to be ha with your emotions. And yes, 
this even sometimes can uh, encourage the other students to also be open about freeing their emotion, to be themselves, to not to suppress their emotions. Tantra is not about suppressing the emotions. So allow yourself, be yourself, be human being. You, of course, you have the role of the teacher, but don't push the mask. Yes, be yourself. And uh, uh, honestly, I have to say, some uh, like the, 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 uh, there are two of the teachers uh, who show their authenticity. One was uh, like um, going through some challenges, and he was a bit uh, nervous, maybe sometimes even angry. But he was himself. Another one, uh, she was uh, so triggered by our uh, um, responses and our energy of the group uh, at uh, the Rasayana Academy that she was crying. And this, that they were showing just being themselves, it really inspired me to also be myself. I don't want to pretend to uh, be someone else. I want to always be myself. And this is also what I teach pe people. Be yourself in every situation. Don't suppress emotions. Let it out. And what if not Tantra workshop is the best place for it? Do it with the awareness, consciousness to not affect your students because uh, yes, you are them, there to uh, guide them, to inspire them, not to traumatize them. Uh, so, yes, um, everything in the kind of limits. So another um, quality is uh, that the teacher should be always uh, example of the things what you are teaching about. Yes, uh, walk the talk. So, yes, if yes, Tantra is about bringing the energy up not to losing it uh, uh, so yes master it uh, and then you know teach about become uh, heal yourself at least the main things then you will be m much better healer yes so um, yes uh, but of course, sometimes we teach the things uh, what uh, are, uh, we would like to achieve still. We still didn't master. But be frankly about that. Be very honest about it. Say, okay, I'm still working on it. You know? I'm still uh, uh, mastering it. It's getting better and better. Or it's a challenge, whatever. But this is the direction to go like uh, for example yes of, of course i'm never gonna be in the 100 percent non-stop uh, state of unconditional love but the, it's the direction to go and i'm frankly about that i'm not like enlightened being uh, all the time or whatever uh, but these are directions to go to to, gr to grow to liberate ourselves so yes um, be honest about it Another uh, nice quality is the Tantra teacher should uh, allow the students to have their own opinions, uh, to have their own way of thinking, feeling and so. Um, sometimes uh, I would say good teachers, like uh, I uh, got inspired with this by Osho, he was uh, sometimes uh, encouraging you to disagree, uh, to, uh, to not to um, follow blindly what he's saying. You know? He was uh, putting some contradiction to make you thinking yourself, not to follow and to have your own opinion. And that's what, you know, like even sometimes I may disagree with you. And so I prefer that you are following your own way, it may always change, but you are yourself. And yes, we may disagree. You don't, as I said, you have to create your Tantra. 
not copy my tantra. So, so yes, we will disagree and that's okay. Of course, there are some main things what, yes, we, uh, we would like to keep in my tantra as a, this is the essence we don't, if you want to do something else, do something else like we, if you want to keep ejaculating, this is not Tantra. So this, yes, of course, there are some limits again, yes? In Tantra Movement School, we give you the guidelines, not the rules in most of the cases, yes? Um, so it means that uh, we uh, show you the way, uh, we invite you, but you have to make the steps. It means that um, you are what you are the person who have to go through the path. You are the person who have to heal yourself. You know, like when uh, we have the healing session, massage session, um, we create the space. We're holding the space, uh, but. The healing is happening in you. We create the energy that will flow and so uh, support you, but it's your energy. So, so this is uh, your process, you know, like we guide you. We, uh, uh, and we even, like we may walk with you, we may hold your hand to uh, when you need it, but sometimes we uh, will take the hand back to let you walk yourself. And we allow you to sometimes fail and to make mistakes because from these mistakes you can learn. So, so it's uh, your path and uh, you have to experience it to uh, completely integrate this to you. So yes, um, this is the quality to allow you to be yourself. So another quality is uh, that uh, he has uh, ability to listen and reflect beyond the lines. So sometimes uh, when uh, the students have maybe different opinion um, than me, you know, maybe uh, sometimes students can be more wise with some aspects and I can learn from them. So even I disagree, I don't block it. I listen, I reflect, and maybe I sleep over this, and maybe next day I have different view on this, and maybe I can say, okay, I may, uh, I, I learn something from you, you know, like, so, so it's like uh, ability to listen, to listen uh, what it's uh, uh, said, and also to listen beyond the lines, to listen, uh, to see like the bigger picture of what is happening. Uh, sometimes uh, people uh, speaking out of their conditionings, out of their ego, and you can clearly recognize that. And okay, let them speak, you know, like okay. And you see the bigger picture and then you can reflect on the bigger picture of it. The last quality what I want to share, he's very happy if, when the students become a better than teacher. So yes, I'm very happy for my students if they will grow higher than I am, that they would achieve. I really wish you all that you will become better teacher than I do. It's, um, you know, like um, this unconditional love uh, for the children. You, of course, want that your children will get better life than you had. That's what you would like to provide. And the same I would like to provide to my students. I like you to become even better teacher than I do. And then I can also learn maybe from you. So the energy will circulate. So these uh, were the uh, actually 12 best uh, tantric uh, qualities. Uh, you may read about uh, some of them in more detailed uh, chapters in my book. Thank you for your attention.